Hey everybody, welcome to Ahava Moments with you. And uh, I'm here with Steve again today. I'm David Peterman. Steve and uh, we uh, are coming to you today. We, we want to share a little bit of something that's on our heart, which is kind of always on our heart. It's kind of like a built-in thing with us, isn't yeah, it, yes, Steve? Yeah. And what are we talking about, Steve? Israel. We're talking about Israel. Oh, gee, imagine you and I talking about Israel. <laughs> so, you know, uh, Steve, this is our book from... The last uh, last April trip, Steve, Steve uh, wrote messages in here, and uh, it's filled with some great photos from our trip, and uh, we had a blessed time. Mm -hmm. We really did. And uh, Steve, why Israel? Because from the very beginning, the Lord said He would bless. He would take a, a people. He chose a people to represent Him on earth. He chose a people who would walk in His ways, and demonstrate the love of God the Father to a nations and the world that uh, did not know him. And he chose the Jewish people. Yeah. Started with Abraham, through yeah. Isaac, yeah. and Jacob. So, blessing Israel is biblical. Absolutely. Okay. And uh, what happens if you curse Israel? You will be cursed. Oh, is that biblical too? Yeah, it's happened. So, curses are biblical? Curses are biblical. Okay. And so we have we have a choice of blessings mm -hmm. or curses. That's right. And we're here to uh, share that with you. I have uh, uh, this scripture. It's out of uh, Bereshit or Genesis. It's the begin book of beginnings, and it's uh, chapter twelve. And I'm going to read here. It says the Lord said to Abram, "Go from your country, your people, and your father's household to a land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you." I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you, I will curse. And all the peoples, some of the people? All the people. All of the peoples of the earth will be blessed mm -hmm. through you. And so Abram went out, as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with him, and Abram was 75 years old. He's an old man. He was an old man. He wow. was. So he went out, left everything he knew, mm. left his family, left his land with his father. And I think he was at Haran at this time, wasn't yes, he? Yes. And uh, he uh, he went from there into the land of Cana, and that's the stories progressed from there. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, blessing is repeated in this particular scripture five times. Oh, really? Yes. I never and just so it's, it's so blessing, blessing, blessing. Blessings are are important, especially mm -hmm. if it's a blessing from the Lord. When the Lord gives you a blessing over your life, it's not a blessing of just uh, well a word. Okay, it's things that come to pass. Mm -hmm. It's things that uh, are are spoken over your life that goodness will come to you all of your days. Uh, that he you'll have his uh, his hand. Is uh, his open hand? It's uh, it's called the kaf in in the Hebrew. Okay. The open hand of blessing over your life. And uh, Steve, when we were in Israel the last time, we had several encounters. We did. And and with with Jewish believers. Mm -hmm. yes, and we did. Uh, can you, you just go through a list a few of those? Well, the purpose of going to Israel is to be with those who are friends who have uh, spoken and declared in their hearts that Yeshua is the Messiah. Yes. And we, we go to support them. We go to uh, lift up their hands, to uh, give our encouragement, to provide our, our prayer support, our finances. And each time we go, that's what we do. Yes. But we're also open to asking the Lord just direct our steps each day of the week that we're there. And he's, he certainly has, he certainly does. Um, we'll have people come up to us and ask us why we're there. They know we're not Israelis. They typically see us as Americans. Yep. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the hat that we're wearing <laughs> or, or the shoes we have on. I'm, yeah. I'm not sure, but uh, the, they know that we're not from these parts. And they ask questions. Primarily is, why do you come here to Israel? Right. When the rest of the world wants to destroy us, yeah. when to the left, to the right, north, south, there's, they're out to get us, and yet you people come here and 
you say you love us, and why is that? Yeah, yeah. And, and the last, one of the gentlemen that we met uh, during that tr the trip, when we went to leave, he asked us to stay, didn't he? He did, and, yeah. And he says, we need more people like you here. <laughs> That's and, good. Uh, and that's 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 a witness in itself, it is, it you know, is. that uh, that we're there and doing what the Lord has called us to do. And we can't do that. The truth of it is, it takes finances to do that. Um, the last trip that we went on, uh, somebody had given me some money, so some mm -hmm. of the people that we were, you know that we met with, I was able to to not have a, a shut hand, a tight hand. Mm -hmm. I was able to give and be a blessing, mm -hmm. not only in speaking Messiah to them, but also giving in in financial blessing uh they're coming off of covid and uh, a lot of people lost their jobs oh, and uh, so, so it was it was a, a a very pivotal time but you're going to israel here in a few weeks aren't yes, you we are. we're, we're going for our 45th anniversary my wife Lori and i and we are spending the six nights that we have in jerusalem in jerusalem we have a credit with the abraham hostel which that's where we stayed, yep, and yep. we enjoyed it. We liked it. It's a great place. Uh, it's right in the middle of Jerusalem, close to the train. Uh, you can walk to the old city if you'd like, yeah. or you can take the train. Yeah. We took a bus a couple of days and just went wherever the bus took us, yep. <laughs> sometimes to dead ends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That yeah. happened a couple of times, didn't we, it? Uh, <laughs> we, were, we were doing we found what the Lord had given us to do. Yes, yes. It's uh, it's it's amazing when you go to Israel. Uh, it changes your perspective. Um, you start to, uh, especially if you're amongst the people, you start to see the people in a different light. Um, a lot of times, uh, the Jewish people are viewed with a lot of negativity, and uh, my experience has been uh, open arms, uh, welcome. Um, you know, to be welcomed to homes of people like Nassim and Hadassah Lerner right. and uh, mm -hmm. Carolyn Hyde and uh, Kokeb called Co me this morning. Yeah, did he? He okay. did. He yeah. was on his way to Israel, he, he, actually to Ethiopia, Ethiopia and then and to Israel. Israel. Yes, he was calling yes. from Washington, D.C. airport. Yep, well, I, uh, I, I've been in contact with him too. And so uh, it's, it's in, in Kokeb, another one. We spent time right with his, Kokeb, Ethiopian. His, his congregation uh, up in uh, Haifa. And, uh, you know, the, they break bread together, mm -hmm. they, they enjoy life together, and uh, you really get a different perspective. But mm -hmm. uh, as ministers of the gospel, uh, we do need partnership with love for his people. And, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be a huge gift. Uh, it doesn't have to be an earth-shattering gift. Uh, just uh, something like a widow's mite, even. Any, every little bit helps. And uh, if we can be a blessing and continue to, to go and minister... Uh, you know, the Lord says that just when one is saved, the angels rejoice in heaven. And so uh, that we believe that with all of our heart. Uh, our focus uh, between the two of us is Israel. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we wanted to share Israel with you today. Uh, hope you like the hat. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, what about the book? Oh, yeah, yeah. And there's Steve's book. Uh, it, well, where, can, where can they get that? Book, on Amazon. Steve? On Amazon. Get and, it uh, in uh, paperback, hardback, or Kindle version. But this was from April of 2022, yeah. when we were on the Mount of Olives, and our friend Nuri Hawa, a taxi driver, took us up there. I've been a friend of ours for several years now, and his uh, his friend in the middle there is George Bush, 17-year-old camel. Yeah. He showed his affection for us <laughs> as we came to visit him in the land. <laughs> yes, yes. And so... Uh, we just want to say shalom and ahava, everybody. Uh, bless you. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Uh, just keep Israel in your heart, mind, and prayers. Yes. Uh, there have been rocket attacks. There's been a lot going on over there. Uh, and if you can uh, stay in touch uh, uh, with, uh, I think one of the ones you use is Israel 365. Is that we one? have? We support them totally wise. Yeah. Uh, but our website is loveforspeople.com, and you can donate online. Or you can send a check to Love First People, P.O. Box 53, Pineville, North Carolina, 28134. And that also is on our website. All right. Shalom, everybody. Shalom.